Kia ora koutou aku tawira. In today's video lesson, we're going to be going over the mock exam for Pangaro math and stats, applying probability methods. Okay, for question one, we have a table here. We're saying New Zealand is a desirable place to live. In 2021, Stats New Zealand carried out a general survey of 3,484 New Zealanders, which is representative of the total population age 15 and over. Okay, patai tua tahi. First question. What is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent was from a rural area and completely satisfied with their life? Now, when it says a randomly chosen respondent, not randomly chosen from a certain group, just randomly chosen respondent, that's going to be your hint that the total number of people will be the denominator of your fraction. And those from a rural area and completely satisfied, rural area is this column, completely satisfied the intersection, 101 over 3484, 0 0.02899. Next one, what is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent from a large urban area but with this one, we can see they are fine-tuning our column to being from a large urban area. That's why we know 2,303 will be the denominator. So was somewhat satisfied, somewhat satisfied would be the 1,516 over 2,303. Next one, what's the probability that a randomly chosen respondent who was not dissatisfied with their life was from an urban area. So unpacking that, we're looking for the respondents who were not dissatisfied. So if these were somewhat dissatisfied, you couldn't choose them, somewhat satisfied, and completely satisfied. So these two rows are gonna make up our category of not dissatisfied. Also said, from an urban area. Large urban, small medium urban, so we're going to be looking to add up these four, the 1,516, 406, 121, and 349. Those added together will be the top of the fraction, and our totals will be adding those two up, giving us 2,392 over 2,824. If you want to change it to a decimal, 0 0.8470. Either one of these two would, got, would have gotten you an achieved mark, but that one would be for merit. Next, the mayor of a large urban town claims that people from large urban areas are approximately 20% less likely to express life dissatisfaction than people from small, medium urban areas. Comment on the validity. First thing we need there, we're going to need the probability that you are dissatisfied from a large urban area right here. We're going to compare that to the probability of being dissatisfied from a small or medium urban area. Now, the way the question is worded, that's how you're gonna set up your fractions. People from large urban areas, approximately 20% less likely compared to those from the small or medium. So since the first area was the large urban, that's gonna be the numerator of the fraction and the denominator the bottom one, or the uh, second one, the denominator, or the bottom. So simplifying that fraction, we get 0.8205, which is about 82% relative to the smaller medium ones. And that is about 18%. So if it's 82% is the relative risk, well, then getting at to 100%, that leaves 18% below. And since the question had said approximately 20%, I would say 18% is approximately 20%. Mayor's claim is correct. Last one. We're looking to find out uh, calculating the expected number of Kiwis somewhat satisfied with their lives. So we know that there were 5,200,000 people with 83.6 of the population in urban areas. First step, let's find 83.6% of the population. That gives us 4,347,200. And we also need the probability that somebody is somewhat dissatisfied in an urban area. That's going to be this from a previous pot tie. If you got that one in there, there's an achieved mark. Now, finding the expected number, we take this probability and times it by the number of people, giving us 2,795,355.8. You're welcome to round that to a whole number. There is your merit mark. And uh, the extension there, 
can it be um, accurate? Now, they said in the in the Pathai, it said that this data is based on a, a 2021 survey. So extending that or extrapolating that to 2023 might not be accurate after the COVID-19 event. Okay, so there's question one. Any Pathai, send them my way. Thanks for watching. Maori mahi, Maori ora. Ka kite ano.